Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. With recipes to satisfy your hunger, delicious recipes to satisfy your crave, and healthy recipes to keep you fit. Most of us are too busy to cook these days and always looking for quick and easy recipes and today it's all about quick and easy cooking. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you my one pot pasta recipe. When I say one pot, it's a totally nutritious. It's got protein, fiber, fat, everything in just one single pot. And to prepare this pasta recipe, here I got all the ingredients ready. Pasta garbanzo beans and it's already boiled make sure you use the boiled one for this recipe i got all kinds of vegetables colorful peppers carrot tomatoes onion and some lemon slices these infuse good flavor so that's one of my favorite to add when i make one pot recipes i got garlic sliced garlic and you can see all the vegetables are just roughly chopped so it doesn't take even much time i got vegetable stock you can simply use water and oil if desired only but not necessary and some spices black pepper red pepper flakes and salt to taste if you are my channel's regular follower you might have noticed that i am totally crazy about pressure cookers because i always look for the ways to cook faster and better that's the most important my family do not like bland food to eat so I have to make sure that food is healthy and tasty at the same time I have new addition in my kitchen it's one of my favorite friend these days and that is pressure cooker and this is power pressure cooker extra large so I can cook for about more than 10 people in just uh, this single cooker and feed few hungry people under 15 minutes and now it's time to put everything into the pot add just a little bit of olive oil at the bottom if desired but it's not necessary as i said earlier pasta garbanzo beans if you want to start with uncooked dry beans you will have to cook first beans or lentils using beans lentil cooking setup and then rest of the recipe you can follow the same tomato colorful peppers carrot onion garlic lemon slice pepper red pepper flakes salt to taste and look at this colorful looking pot already i simply love it need some fresh basil just to tear apart roughly and now look at this pot it looks so colorful already i simply love it last add vegetable stock or water give this a good stir lovely now it looks like a rainbow pot ready to cover and make sure it's locked as soon as you plug it in the cooker turns on automatically and now you can set up however you like and I'm going to use soup stew that works best for me for this pasta recipe so just simply one touch button done 10 minutes now you must be thinking I could have prepared this pasta recipe in open pot even yes I could and I have cooked in open pot earlier and let me tell you the difference between cooking in a cooker and into the regular pot when I cooked in a regular pot, pasta kind of uh, tasted a little bland. When pasta recipe cooked in a cooker tastes much more better than cooked in open pot. Because when you cook in a cooker, all the flavors of vegetable, herbs and everything, it stays inside. And when you cook everything together, you can imagine how all the ingredients infuses the flavor in pasta and it tastes totally amazing. 
Besides flavor and convenience of one pot cooking, there are some other benefits. The first and most reason is it conserves energy. It makes everyday cooking easier and hassle-free. Food retains precious nutrients. This cooker may keep your kitchen totally cooler. When I use stove top or the oven, my kitchen gets super hot and being in Florida where the temperature is super high during summertime, this is a perfect for me to use. And when it comes to cleaning, cleaning is totally breeze. Believe me or not, all you have to do is just to wash one single pot. When I open up the box, there was the recipe book inside. It came with chopper even. Looks quite good. Then here is the cooker. Spatula and measuring cup. So here how the whole cooker looks like with some unique and fun features. Power pressure cooker Excel functionality. You can do meat, vegetables, even canning, preserving with just a touch of a button. Slow cook, any functionality that you're looking for, this cooker has it. My favorite is to use beans, lentils because that's the most I cook. Also vegetables and you can even adjust the time. If you are interested in getting all-purpose cooker like this, check out the link provided under this video description. When it's done, it will automatically come on keep warm setup. My one pot pasta is ready in 10 minutes and I release all the air. It has all the features for safety even, which is the most I like about it. So just unlock to open it, but still be careful when you open up because you don't want to get all the steams on your hands and you don't want to get burned. Look at the color of the vegetables even, it retains nice color. Give it a stir and I am ready to serve pasta. If desired, sprinkle some parmesan cheese, vegan parmesan cheese, I have already shared the recipe. On the top of pasta or any of your favorite cheese would be fine too. And the last thing, fresh basil on top and look at this pasta plate and the last thing I have to do is give it a bite mm. it doesn't taste even starchy I noticed that when I cooked sometimes in open pot I tasted a little bit of starchy pasta but with this uh, cooker I had noticed that's the most thing that I love about this cooker the pasta tastes amazing just like you uh, first boil and then added some ingredients so it works out great for me so I hope I made it easier for you to prepare one pot pasta using power pressure cooker extra large thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with another great recipe mm -hmm.